Well, I was in seventh grade, and um, I ended up getting around 250 kids to Annie ten dollars for the March Madness pool. I just came, you know, gave him a little uh, idea of how it works. I thought he was just curious. Didn't know he was going to go to school and start a big pool. I guess word got around that I was starting a gambling ring in, in my junior high, and uh, the principal obviously needed to shut that down right away, so I got called into the office, and it just so happened that when I got called into the office, I had just gotten the Annie's for like 10 or 15 people, so I had like $200 cash as a seventh grader in my pocket. I get a call from the principal's office and they said, Mr. McFarland, we have, a, we have an issue here we have to talk to you about. What, what happened, everything okay? And he says, well, he's got some kind of a gambling ring going on and he had a lot of money on him and he's got a lot of betting sheets and we, we have to stop this, this is not a good thing. And my dad was like, you know, it was my idea, I apologize. I ended up getting a ten detention for a week. I says, no ma'am, I'll be right there because I taught him how to do it. I, sh I showed him the whole bracket thing. I didn't really know he was gonna do it, so he's in trouble. After he gets in trouble with you, he's in trouble with me. But I'm coming there and I'm gonna sit with him for the two hours and I'm gonna write, I will not gamble on school property or the rest of my life or whatever you want me to write. I, <laughs> we talked about it when he got home and he was grounded for a while. And, but I felt bad because I'm the one who taught him how to do it. <laughs>